need you to be on camera. You cannot keep looking down. She's getting camera shy. Actually, she smells the celery. Today, I'm gonna show you an entire grocery haul that correlates exactly to my full day of eating tomorrow. So, I'm gonna go through the breakfast, the snacks, the dinner, the lunch, everything that you need to know. To start off, where I typically shop is King Supers. It's a lot cheaper. Um, we sometimes do go to Trader Joe's because that's a really cheap option as well. But when we want something like a really good steak or ahi tuna, etc., we'll go to either a local butcher shop or Whole Foods. That's the deets. All of this is basically from King Super, so it's pretty affordable. Let's begin. Celery. There are approximately three stocks here, and I have only been juicing since the beginning of this week. It's just going to be really good for my skin, digestive system. There's so many benefits to doing celery juice first thing in the morning. We're excited to keep on doing it. This is just one stock, and I think one stock will get you two cups. The juicer we use, I will show in my full day of eating. What we start with typically is one, <laughs> one celery stock, not three, but this is for the whole rest of the week. To start off my mornings, I typically do a very balanced meal, so I like to start with something like egg whites and then do a carb and a fat. What I'm gonna do tomorrow is egg white oats with some berries. So you're going to cook the oats over the stove like you normally would um, with some almond milk. This is my favorite almond milk, nice and creamy. And then once that is kind of warmed up, you're going to add your egg whites. So I'll do five egg whites, I'll put them in there, stir them and it makes it so fluffy. For a little while, I'll also add blueberries, typically around the time that I put in the egg whites with some coconut oil to add some healthy fats in there. So that's gonna be breakfast along with my lattes. What I like to do for lattes is my Nut Pods creamer. It's a dairy-free creamer. And then my unsweetened vanilla Califia almond milk. The next meal we're doing is a snack. So this is gonna be a post-workout snack because I know that I'm gonna be working out tomorrow. What I do is a Formula One shake post-workout. And this is from First Form. They have a level one and a Formula One. The Formula One is fast digesting. It's a whey isolate. The level one is slower digesting. So I will do a formula one shake, just mix it with water really fast. loop de fruit is my current favorite. It literally tastes like the bottom of a bag of Fruit Loops, it's so good. And then I will do a rice cake. You guys know my love affair with caramel rice cakes and peanut butter. So I'll do this and then my current fave is Betsy's Best, peanut butter. So that is going to be your snack post-workout in the morning. Next thing we're gonna do is lunch, and this is a really quick and easy meal if you have everything prepared. So, what I like to do is crock pot chicken. I will literally throw this in the crock pot with this bad boy. I'll do like half a can or a third of a can. I'll throw that in there on low for six hours, and it's so juicy and shreds so easily. So I really like to do chicken that way just because it's super easy. I am picky about my chicken, so I like organic free range chicken. To me, it tastes less gamey than like something generic. We have an instant pot where we cook our rice in. So it's kind of like a rice cooker in and, of it, in and of itself. We'll do sushi rice. It's so good, it's super thick. It's so, I don't know how to describe it. It's just so dense and satisfying. I love sushi rice. It's a little bit pricey, so if you guys can't do it, just do regular jasmine rice. Sushi rice, I highly recommend it. So you have your protein, your carb. Another carb we're gonna add is refried beans. I either do just the regular refried beans or fat-free. Uh, there's not too much of a difference, but this has three grams of fat per serving versus zero grams of fat per serving. These are really good to add to any bowl, etc., which we're gonna do here. So we have the rice cooked, the chicken cooked, we're gonna add some beans. You're going to top it with some salsa. Some of my favorite hot sauce. You guys, if you watch my full days of eating, you'll know that I'm completely obsessed with tomatillo sauce. I have probably had it every day for three years. It's that good. And then also half of an avocado or a quarter, I'll decide tomorrow for some healthy fats and top off with some cilantro to add some flavor. Every day my snacks change, but you'll always see me having these pop chips, set, what is it, cheddar and sour cream. They're so good, I have a slight addiction to them, 
but they're so satisfying. Like I can have a handful and be satisfied for the rest of the day, really. By eating a handful or a bowl of these every day, it really satisfies my cravings so that I don't want to binge on the entire bag. So if you allow your mind to say it's okay to eat something, you're typically not going to crave it as often, which is what I've found. So I'm gonna do a bowl of this and then I'll dip with edamame, which is edamame hummus. I don't know why I find that so funny, but edamame hummus, edamame. I read it in a magazine forever ago. <laughs> The next meal is going to be dinner. If I'm hungry though, before this and like after that pop chip snack, I might eat, I might not. I just kind of try and really listen to my hunger cues, what I'm feeling. Um, if I'm starving, I'll definitely have another snack. So this is kind of hopefully what I'll be eating, but if not, I'm not going to deprive myself. Dinner, what I'm gonna do is spaghetti squash. I love, love, love spaghetti squash and I highly recommend it because it's also an alternative to pasta as a lower carb dish. I will show you guys how I cook this tomorrow. My favorite marinara sauce, which is Rao's homemade. I'll be sauteing this ground beef that I get at Trader Joe's. It's very, very reasonably priced too. And I always have a salad the size of my head every single night. It's kind of routine for me. It helps me get in my fiber, my nutrients, etc. So I'll have a salad with something like crispy onions and a lot of people get turned off when they see this at the store they're like oh my gosh I'm gonna gain fat if I eat that but if you just go into it thinking I'm gonna use a little bit at a time it's really satisfying to any cravings and you're not depriving yourself of like a really tasty salad which your salad should be good I get this at Whole Foods so when I go I don't go very often so I'll grab like three of these but it's my favorite dressing ever the light balsamic Pretty low fat, very low carb, and um, it's just a really, really good dressing. So I'll top with this, and then I'll also, again, top with <laughs> edamamas. <laughs> Dessert, I am currently addicted to a bowl of frozen mangoes. So good, so satisfying. Steve and I usually sit down and watch a show after our dinner, so I really like to munch on these while we're watching our TV shows. They're so good. And I did forget one more thing. We've been drinking a glass of wine every night while we watch our TV shows after dinner. So I don't have that right now, but I will definitely be grabbing that for tomorrow's full day of eating. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys have been a part of my journey for some time, you'll know that my mentality towards food and fitness has changed completely. And instead of focusing on a certain macro count, I focus a lot more on eating nutrient dense foods that satisfy my cravings and fill me up and just provide my body with the fuel it needs to perform optimally. Be sure to tune in on Thursday. I'm gonna be going over exactly why I eat these foods and how I'm able to stay lean. So I'll see you there, 8 a.m. Mountain time.